Players' Championship 16 as the PDC Autumn Series rolls on. Would we have some more thunder from down under? Could a Welshman shock the world? A Kenny for your thoughts. Who do you like here? Menser or the Diamond? And the world number one had revenge on his mind. MVG is A-OK today on High Roller Radio. Yes, you gotta love this. Monday, Monday, and some early morning arrows. Early where I sit anyway in Canada, did you know the PDC Autumn Series kicks off each morning here at 6 a.m.? Who loves it more, I ask? Well, perhaps Andrew Dugan does. You know he's a diehard. Got the excitement for day three this morning, he says. And I'm with you, pal. Can't wait to see what unfolds. The action was hot and heavy yesterday as Damon Hayda brought the heat, clobbered Stephen Bunting in the semis, and then Joe Cullen in the final for his first ever PDC ranking title. You might say he Vegemite sandwiched the competition. Now, full disclosure, I did miss the entire first round today. I was busy completing an article for Maple Casino, Canada's best online casino guide, on this guy, Brian Berg, who holds four, count them, four card-stacking world records. This right here, a replica of the Venetian Macau, took him 44 days to build, used more than 200,000 playing cards. That's more than 40,000 decks. MapleCasino.ca Check it out. I can tell you, thanks to Juanita McDade, though, that Damon Hayda was not suffering any championship hangover. Started right from where he left off with a 6-5 scalp of the Polish Eagle. He is on fire. He's hungry and living the dream, she said. Juanita, by the way, Damon Hayda's aunt, her brother's son, the family on top of the world these days. She'll be watching intently again. Charlie Gray let us know that Andrew Gilding was a first-round loser despite averaging 101.6, beaten 6-5 by world number three Gerwin Price, who came back from 5-3 down. The boss, thank you. We pick up the action in the second round with Darius Labanowskis taking on Dave Chisnell. He was holding his own early, all square through four. Four legs, then again through six, but Chizzy was poised to pounce, and that he did with a break of throw in leg seven, which he consolidated right here on double five. Unlucky D, Chisnell advances into the board final by a score of six to four. Boris Kirschmar staring down Michael Smith. He was staring down a bully. Smith racing out to a 5 2 lead, three clear and on the brink of victory. But not so fast. Keep your eye on this man, folks. Croatia's Boris Kirschmar, both a soft tip and steel tip ace, brought it back to 5-4 with back-to-back -back monsters. The 121st, then this 121, three perfect darts, double 14 good. He then leveled the force of decider where he nailed tops for the improbable victory. Storm back with four on the trot. Wow. Got to show you this highlight from young Callan Rids. The 1-6-0. Very nice. The two trebles in. The double 22. That checkout spurred him on to a 6-3 win over Aaron Beanie. He averaged 98.3. The follow-through right here of a four-time world champ. Pretty smooth if you ask me. Lisa Ashton taking it to the Saint. Allen Tavern. She's a world-class closer. Very nice 64 checkout here. Single, single, double for 4-1 and she wasn't done. Pin this double four for 5-2 then sealed the deal the very next leg. She's into another board final. Her second in three days. Elsewhere, DJ Gandolfini let us know that Peter Wright cruised past Scott Waits in the Battle of World Champions while Nathan Aspinall beat Kai Fan Lung by by the same score, he averaged 101.2. Round three now, the board finals, and Daryl Gurney taking aim on Kim Hybrex, and he was taking dead aim, landed the showpiece 132 for three zip, an early stranglehold, champagne shot right there, let's have another look. 
That bullseye, straight and true. He was well in command at 5 nothing, but the Hurricane wanted to play a little longer, brought it back to 5-3, then 5-4 on this double eight, four on the spin. The problem, his charge was too little, too late. Super Chin holds on. He's into the last 16. That's where Ross Smith wanted to be. Fell behind Gerwin Price 4-2, though. He was throwing well. Nice ton 40 here. And then he produced huge checkouts. Two of them back-to-back -back whoppers. First a 140, and then this 125, brilliant, and he simply motored along from there. Steamrolled to a 6-4 triumph with four on the spin against the world number three. What a performance that was. Speaking of fine performances, what a comeback from Lisa Ashton, tweeted Andrew Dugan. She trailed Boris Kirschmar 4-zip in her board final but somehow found a way back, did so in a last leg shootout. She's into the last 16 on the PDC Pro Tour for the very first time. Well done. Fantastic darts again from Lisa, noted Tom Wiley. Another great run from one exciting finish to another, and the anomaly of betting reporting a big-time steal from Keegan Brown as snakebite Peter Wright wasted match darts in the deciding leg, and then he walked up calmly and coolly to punch out the 115. The needle was pinpoint. Over to Dart Connect now for some other board final results. Luke Humphreys, Menser Sulevich, and Nathan Aspinall among your winners. Danny Noppert, Ian White, Jose D'Souza, and Joe Cullen also advancing. Last 16 now, and there is Cool Hand Luke taking on Keegan Brown, who was absent his usual pink power in this one. All Humphreys, a blowout. This double eight made it 4 nothing. 6 nil. your final the whitewash. Michael Van Gerwen was in no mood to mess around with Glenn Durant. No mood whatsoever. Already leading 3-0, he went tops, tops for four on the spin, and then gave it large. He wanted this one, averaging a monstrous 118 through four legs. Crazy good. He was doing this time and again. First start in and making no mistake on the outer ring either. Pin the 74 and two clean darts to slam the door shut. Bang, bang. Shots fired. The Green Machine 6, Glenn Durant 2. Yes, finally a win. V does a scream. Leon Martin in all caps. He must be excited. All of MVG Nation must be. He is on point today. All right, the Elite Eight now. And how about Damon Hayda? Another great run for him. Unfortunately, the man behind him has found some form. Mighty Mike up 3-0. Gave it some when he went up by 4. And wow, look at this. Six legs sitting on 20 for the whitewash. No problem. Game, set, match. As he says, not today, son. The world number one is into the semis, where he would be joined by a well-polished gemstone. The diamond, Ian White, in control from the get-go versus Danny Noppert, led 3-0, then went ahead 4-2 on the ton plus a 108 bullseye good. He can play, folks. He averaged 100, as he has been all day, make the final 6-3. Dart connect again to round out your final four lineup. Menser Sulovich ended Luke Humphrey's day, while Nick Kenny sent Ross Smith to the exits. So, the semi-final set now. We kick it off with Michael Van Gerwen, the heavy favorite, up against the Welshman. Had daylight early, too, up 3-1. Now, Kenny was trying. He did land the maximum here to keep things close, then got to within two on tops at 6-4. But that was it. And you talk about an emphatic ending. How about the 151, three perfect darts? Mighty Mike into the final nicely with a 7-4 victory. He's played amazing all day, tweeted Liam Martin. I'm a happy MVG fan right now. So too is Philip Wolf. Hopefully he wins the final, he said. A slower pace match on the other stream board. As you can imagine, with Menser Sulovich featured, he brought it down to a snail's pace against Ian White, 
quite nicely, I might add. Slow play, but some fast scoring. The Austrian fired in this max en route to a 3-2 advantage, then took out 153 for 4-2. He went ahead 5-3 on double 10, and then we got some emotion when he made it 6-3. Tell you what, the Austrian was feeling it. KO's white convincingly despite only averaging 88 at the end of it all, 7-4 the final. Something tells me an 88 average wouldn't do here. Best of 15 for bragging rights at Players Championship 16, the final, and it wasn't even close. This guy, large and in charge, animated too. We got this reaction at 2-0, then this one at 3-0. He was on a mission, folks. It went 4-1. 5-1, 6-1, 7-1, and yes, 8-1 from there. He meant business. An absolute route again. 8-1 the final. He thrashes the gentle into submission. Michael Van Gerwen is back on the board. Good spirit affair. They had some fun afterwards. Winners must stay, he joked. Losers must go, telling Sulovic to get out. I didn't feel good yesterday, he admitted. I can't go into details but I had a sore bum. It really was a classic post-match interview. As for his tilt with Menser, I stayed on top of him, he said, and I won quite easily, to be fair. Mighty Mike, back in the win column, your champion today on High Roller Radio.